The med tech industry is focused on bringing healthcare closer to the patient than ever before. From personalization to consistent monitoring to innovative new sensors, the individual is the focus for tomorrow's medical technology. This is MedTech Beyond. Presented by DigiKey, powered by NXP, Recom Power, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we explore how new technologies are enabling personalized healthcare and better quality of life for patients. Join us as we talk with industry leaders and product experts to uncover the innovations that will power what's next. Abizer Tapia, an accomplished health tech executive and entrepreneur, shares his vision for how data will play a role in the creation of more targeted and precise patient care. In any industry, bringing technology to market has lots of fundamental challenges. This is definitely not easy. I think healthcare brings its own additional constraints and challenges that you need to work through. But one of the things with healthcare technology is the stakes are a lot higher. We have human health and human lives that are at stake. On top of that, it now needs to fit in the workflow of the physicians and the clinicians. It can't be too far outside of what they're used to doing. Similar for patients. It has to be in the patient's workflow. You can't ask them to do things that they're not going to be compliant on. It's really that idea of centralization of data and decentralization of the acquisition of it that's really kind of cool. In a house, there's going to be a time when doctors will be able to just have a whole hub of equipment that are there. You think of what telemedicine has done during the time of COVID. Everything from sleep monitoring to EKGs to blood ox to blood pressure. All of that a doctor has the ability to see without actually having to be in the same room with the patient. The margin for error is quite limited because you're dealing with human health and human life. Therefore, quality of the device and your system and your technology becomes even more critical than, say, a consumer technology product. Therefore, there's lots of quality management systems that are in place. You need to design your technology into those systems in that framework. We sit down with the sensor applications team from NXP to discover the intricacies of the industry, the role sensors play, and why reliable data is critical for better patient outcomes. NXP has a long history of providing vigorously tested products into automotive, communication infrastructure, mobile space. This is to take into other markets who require this as well, especially healthcare. So we're thinking about integration of functions. We're thinking about fusions of different sensing capabilities. We're thinking about how to process information at the far edge. And all these type of things that paired with security, paired with additional compute, additional connectivities, allow us to do a lot more things. Now we have these wide use cases that we can support in the IoT market as well as the industrial market. We all spend time in the doctor's office, but realistically, how much time do we spend with high-tech medical equipment doing surveys of our bodies? The rest of the time we're walking around and simple things like getting up and walking can make a big difference in, in our health. If one takes a measurement once a day, you get one data point. But if you look at that cycle across real time, you may be able to medicate more reactively to your body's physiology. If you were to look back 10 or 20 years ago, when you go to a cardiologist, they would let you monitor your heart rate for 12, 24 to 48 hours. But that's not really representative of your life. It's not even representative of your week. So having something like a heart rate monitor now, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, for multiple years, you have all this data, so it's personalized to you. One part per billion is still not even good enough. We want to get to zero defects. We're primarily driven by automotive standards, which are pretty rigorous. And so we have to hit the very low parts per million defect levels. And that translates well into med tech, where through qualification, we'll run hundreds of thousands of devices over various stresses. If there happens to be any failure at all, it gets brutally examined. If there's something that needs to be fixed, we fix it and start over again. MedTech is constantly evolving to better serve the needs of individual patients. Enhanced analytics, AI, and new sensor technologies are empowering both patients and medical professionals to realize a personalized vision of healthcare. The next five to 10 years really excites me. Now we can reduce repetitive tasks, really allow us to focus on value added works. And then we're thinking about integration of functions. We can process that information. We can ultimately produce a equitable, actionable result. So you could feel something going wrong and you could say, mark this event, and then you could talk to your doctor the next time you're in. It's not just empowerment, 
It's being able to personalize medicine. It's getting to a point where you can talk about your needs and what's going on for you. Hey, I'm not just a diabetic, I'm having X, Y, and Z happen in this order. By lowering these burdens on the patient, you allow more people to access the healthcare system. Five years from now, I think it's pretty safe bet to say the big data and AI revolution will continue the hospital systems, the physicians, therapeutic companies as you run your clinical trials. They're sitting on troves of data. You can imagine the gold nuggets you can pull out out of those data sets, improve care on one side, as well as develop what the next generation of therapeutics should be.